The tedious task of entering data in Excel may seem inevitable, but luckily, Excel has a powerful tool to make this process easier, drop-down menus. I'm Emma Chipper, founder of Excel Dictionary, and today I'll show you the power of creating drop-down menus to make inputting data easier and more accurate than ever. Before we dive into learning how to create a drop-down menu, let's quickly go over when you should use them. Drop-down menus are a great way to insert a value from a list into a cell quickly. For example, if we are collecting data from employees and want to know which department they work in, we can enter all of the departments in a drop-down menu for the employee to select from. This will not only make the employee's life easier when filling out data, but also it will make the data more accurate by standardizing the values that can be entered. You do not want to use a drop-down menu if you are entering non-repeating data or data that isn't coming from a specific list of values. Now that we know when to use a drop-down menu, let's learn how to create one. In this example, we have several projects and we need to track each project's status by entering complete, in progress, or not started. Now we could enter and update each product status manually, but this would not only be time consuming, but we are more likely to make typos. So instead, we can create a drop-down menu that allows us to select the status of each project. To create a drop-down menu, select the cell that you want to add the drop-down menu to, navigate to the Data tab, and select the Data Validation icon to open the Data Validation dialog box. From here, we need to set the allowed criteria equal to list and then select the values that we want to enter in the drop-down menu as the source. To do this, press the up arrow button to the right of the source box, select the three statuses, and hit OK to automatically add the drop-down menu to the cell. Now we can press the arrow icon to display the status options and choose one to enter directly into the cell. Lastly, we can fill the drop-down menus down the column by double-clicking the autofill handle. As you can see, selecting the status from the drop-down menu is so much faster than manually typing each status out. Now let's say we wanted to clean up this project tracker worksheet a little bit and delete the status column. But if we delete the status column, it deletes all the values from the drop-down menus. So let's look at another way to create a drop-down menu without having the values listed in your worksheet. Once again, select the cells you want to add drop-down menus to, go to the Data tab, select Data Validation, select List, and now this time, we need to list each value we want to add separated by a comma. So I'm going to go ahead and type each status separated by a comma, and then hit OK. Now we have the same drop-down menus without having the status list visible on the worksheet for a cleaner look. Now I'm sure you've seen some of the benefits of drop-down menus in this video, but let's recap them all. First and foremost, drop-down menus improve efficiency when entering repeating data into Excel. Not only do they save time from manually typing out each value, but they also prevent confusion by providing users with a clear definition of what should be entered into a cell. But most importantly, drop-down menus prevent user errors by standardizing the data entered into cells. For example, this is what the project statuses could have looked like without a drop-down menu versus what they look like with a drop-down menu. As you can see, without a drop-down menu, the statuses are inconsistent and contain spelling errors, while the data with a drop-down menu is consistent with no errors. Hopefully now you can see how powerful and simple it is to create drop-down menus in Excel. Drop-down menus are the best of both worlds because they make our lives easier when entering data while making our data more accurate. If you like this video and want more, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications to never miss a video.